Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny here with High Speed Dirt Reactions and I'm coming at you today with a brand new video reaction. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but I'm here with a brand new video. I'm here to get going again. Uh, a lot of new music coming out this summer and of course this spring and I'm excited to uh, check it all out and get back to making videos. So I figured so let's start off with a banger. We're going with Kerry King. He's got a brand new video today called um, Residue. And uh, this is uh, super exciting for me because I'm a big Carrie King fan. I do like Slayer quite a bit. Of course, Slayer is now no longer together and Carrie really needs to get out there doing stuff. And so he's got his own outfit here and uh, doing my homework before we get into it. Um, it's not necessarily a super group, but it is pretty awesome regardless. So we got Carrie King obviously having kind of a little bit of a Slayer reunion here. He's got Paul Bostoff on drums again, X. Uh, Slayer. Paul's an amazing drummer, so I'm just super excited to see him and Carrie out there working again. We got Kyle Sanders, formerly of uh, Hell Yeah. He is on bass, and then we have um, no stranger to the metal community at all, and a very, 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 very busy man, Mr. Phil Delmo, formerly of um, Machine Head and Violence, and matter of fact, he's, he's becoming kind of like the Mike Portnoy of guitar, Phil's a hired gun, and I probably shouldn't say that. He probably doesn't appreciate me saying that, and I apologize. It's just the perception that I'm getting, and it's not a bad thing. He's a badass. Any band should want him. And to the point, even yesterday, um, it was announced a brand new super group called Category 7. Ding, ding, ding. Phil Demo is in that band, and it's another freaking... I'm really excited about that and I'll get into that a little bit later maybe at the end of uh, checking out this video but Phil's a very busy man and so he's got of course Carrie King and now we have category seven again I'll bring that up a little bit later and then we have Mark Asaguada if I don't know I, I know for a fact I probably butchered the shit out of that and I really love Mark Mark's the lead singer of Death Angel uh Phil you know he's he's here on pipes with Carrie King and this guy no stranger to the thrash metal community and one hell of a singer and I'm a big Death Angel fan too so I mean everything about this is a win you know what I mean at least from the musician side so all right so let's check it out this is called Residue Carrie King this is actually the second single I didn't do a video on the first single and I'm not going to pretend I did so Maybe I'll go back and do a video on that. I know it's out there. I have not watched it. I have not listened to it. I have been so busy outside of doing my my love, my joy, which is this. And I want to get back to this. And this is going to be a good start. I know. It. I feel it in my, in my metal gullet. It's going to be a good start. So anyway, first before we start, as always, a little sippy sip and a little cheers to you guys for taking a moment out of your day actually more than that, a few minutes out of your day to check out my little uh, reaction channel based on music and hopefully other things. I have a lot of other ideas that I want to bring to the channel that will keep me busy, hopefully, and keep me more active. But uh, let's start. Baby steps. Here we are. Carrie King. So, oh, I didn't even take my sip. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. All right. So check this out. Residue, Carrie King. All right, let's do this. All right, starting out a little dark, a little ominous. I mean, not surprising. There's Phil. Paul. There's Mark. Of course, Carrie. Alright, so we started off just straight up dark gloom tones. We've got fire, we've got smoke, and we've got, you know, that real down thrash, downbeat, as I like to say. But, uh, yeah, alright, so... I'm excited. Let's get this going. It's the parasite. One sting. Hey, clings. Just like residue. I know. Tenfold. It comes back. To you. I'm in mental retrograde. So now it's my crusade.
it wouldn't be Carrie King without a freaking pentagram in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't bother me. I'm not one of those people. It's, it's just, it is what it is. But, uh, you can't beat the Slayer out of them. That's all I'm saying. You can't beat the Slayer out of them. And we love Carrie for that, but Carrie King will always be Slayer. And that's what I'm hearing here. Come on, Phil, kick my ass, bro. Interesting. All right. Hey. So yeah, um, that was that was great. I mean, it it's Carrie King. It's definitely that thrash metal with the uh, you know a lot of doom kind of metal undertones. Uh, definitely more thrash than anything. Um, the only thing I take from it is it has a lot of players that I really really enjoy. I really enjoy Mark um, as a singer. I mean, he's not much of a you know, outstretched, to be honest with you. Um, for this, um, you know, very similar to Tom, really, from Slayer. Uh, he's got a little more range. I'll, I'll give him that. So I'm not picking it apart or anything. Uh, in a nutshell, this was cookie cutter thrash metal. I mean, if there was a machine, you could just throw some AI tidbits in there. This is what you would get. I mean, and... I'm kind of surprised it's actually a single. So that kind of worries me for the overall album. Um, because if this is our second single, this is definitely mid. Mid-level thrash. This, this, is like, this would be like track six. 
And I have a theory about records. I always say it's track four, track eight, usually. Those two will be the defining tracks of the record. So hopefully this doesn't fall in four or eight. Um, and like I said, it's not a diss. It's just, it was cookie cutter thrash. And it was enjoyable. If I had it playing in the background while I was doing a project or something like that or working around the house, I'd have no problem with it. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. And it was definitely um, Carrie King. But I mean, I don't want to sound like a downer because that's really not uh, what I'm trying to get across, even if that's the way it's coming. Um, it's just, it was. It was status quo. Even my cat, if you can hear him, he's meowing about it. It was very status quo, and uh, it was fine. I mean, there you are. <laughs> so anyway, all right, guys, until the next video, I will see you soon. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.